Oh, this is a word that I think about a lot, particularly when I think about people talking behind my back. This is a word that people often associate with my character. And today in this video, I'm going to tell you why that is a good thing, why I'm actually quite happy about that. So let me tell you a story to illustrate this point, right? So imagine this person that exists. Let's call him person A, right? And he is actually rather interesting as a character, right? He plays guitar, he's in a band, he can sing. He's a, a volunteer firefighter. He goes to the gym, he has a nice body. He has like three big pit bull dogs and he walks around town. He's like very like noticeable. He has this like mohawk haircut. He's met Elon Musk at some random bar mitzvah. He's been in jail overnight. He survived a car crash. He speaks three languages. He believes in Scientology. He... And we'll stop there because there's so much to talk about this person that I could go on forever. I could talk all day because he's such an interesting person. He's wonderful. Now, let's imagine this other person, right? Let's call this person person B, right? Person B doesn't really do much, right? He sits in his room all day and he, hmm, what does he do? I, I don't know because he sits in his room all day and he doesn't, we don't see him outside doing anything because he's always inside, right? And what he does is, hmm, I've already run out of things to say because he's boring. He like there's nothing to say about this guy. So which of the two people do you think people will talk about more? Right? It's obviously person A. And the things he's done aren't necessarily impressive, but you cannot argue that he's not an interesting person. You see the point I'm trying to make here is that when people gossip about you, talk about you behind your back, whatever they say, it means that you are someone worth talking about. And that is amazing right? You're not this boring person. You're someone at the forefront of someone's mind. And they're like, oh, this guy is interesting. Whether or not they believe in you to be, you know, a hero or a villain, you are the main character in their story. You are the spice in their life. And that is something quite spectacular and amazing for you. Because look, the reality is 90% of people are these like NPC characters, like the background of a movie, right? Like these boring people like person B that you don't even see, right? And 90%, that seems like a lot of people, but the bias is that you don't see them, right? Like the people you see in daily life are the people that do things, right? The people you don't see, like you don't see someone doing nothing, right? That is not a thing that like lights up your brain and think, oh, that person's doing nothing, that person's doing nothing. You don't see them, right? So the people that you're exposed to are already people that do stuff, right? And even in that category, there's boring people and interesting people. But that is just the top 10% of interesting people, right? The majority of people, especially young boys and men, don't do interesting things. They sit in their house and do nothing. And this is not to say that you should be an asshole. Not, that's not the point I'm trying to make here. I believe that you should do good despite what people think. And that opens up the opportunity for people to think of you as an asshole. But that's just life. That's how it happens. People, If people can think about you in any way, there will be people that think about you as a good person and people that think of you as an asshole. And look, I get it. It can hurt sometimes when people think of you in, in a bit of a mean way. They say mean things about you and it's like, oh, that kind of hurts. But the thing is, it is still a good thing, right? There's an expression that we have, right? Love and hate are two sides of the same coin. What does that mean, by the way? Basically, it means that to love someone or to hate someone, you must first care about them right? So it's just kind of like, to hate someone, you have to care about them. Do you get what I kind of mean there? Like the coin in, in general is made out of care, right? So to flip the coin, whether they love you or hate you, they have to care about you. So if someone hates you, that means that they care about you. And if you're doing something, if you're saying something that's worth saying, if you're taking an action that's worth taking, if you're being different to the norm, then you will receive hate. That is a universal law. Trust me, I have felt that in my life to be the case. Absolutely true. And here's the thing as well. When people say the word asshole, here's what they actually mean. This asshole character is a guy that doesn't care about people's opinions. He says what he thinks. He has strong values and beliefs that he stands by. He doesn't tolerate bullshit. He's assertive. He's dominant. He doesn't change his mind so easily. And these are all good things, right? You're listening to me thinking, Hang on, these are good things. Why are people thinking of me as an arsehole? Well, because these traits are commonly associated with toxic masculinity, right? That's no coincidence, right? Like think about people like Donald Trump, right? Very polarizing. People either love him or hate him. It's extremes, right? 
and he shows these kind of traits, right? He seems like a bit of an arsehole, but people love him or hate him. But regardless of love or hate, you must admit, these traits demand respect. Like this guy, this random guy that we're describing, he's not a people pleaser. He doesn't let people walk over him like a, like some rug. He's not a doormat. He's a good leader. He's dependable, right? These qualities are traits of respect. Even the mightiest king has haters. And the more popular he is, the more haters he will have. And the more intensely people will feel that hatred as well. And so be honest, right? You want to be this guy. I want to be this guy, right? And I have been this guy. I trust me, I've had my fair share of the insult asshole thrown at me a couple times in my life. But that's the thing. It's a good thing, right? This is why I say, I'm like, okay, these people think of me about, think about me in this way. Great, wonderful. And here's another thing as well. It's not about doing the right thing, right? It's not about like being the nice guy or the good boy. Like you can do everything absolutely correct. Right? Like, I mean, everything, right? You look back and think about the things you've done and think even looking back, even like knowing what I know now, I still believe that thing I did was correct, right? But you will still have haters no matter what you do in life right life is like a poker game in that way right there is technically in poker a mathematically correct way to play the game right a correct way to play it but still there's an element of luck and so you win some you lose some even when you've done everything correct you win some you lose some because the thing is you can't please everybody it's it's not possible right it reminds me of a story of this a father, a son, and a donkey. There's like a cartoon. I might be able to put it up on the side here. But the story goes like this, right? There's a father and his son and a donkey. And they're traveling along a dirt road, traveling for miles and miles. And at first, they are just walking alongside the donkey. The donkey isn't really carrying anything, but the donkey is something that they own, right? They walk past someone and someone says, Oh, you, you've bought this donkey and you're not even using it? How stupid are you? Like, one of you could take a rest and ride on the donkey's back. <sighs> you're so stupid, right? So the father picks up his son, puts it on the donkey, and rides along, right? Rides along for a few more steps, and then someone says, he says to the son, oh, come on now, you're letting this old man walk while you're on the, on the donkey? How disrespectful are you? And so the son gets off, and the father gets on. And a woman comes along and says, how dare you let this poor boy walk while you get some rest on that donkey? This poor boy, how dare you treat him so badly? And so they end up putting both of themselves on the donkey and they go along with both of them on the donkey's back. And then someone comes along and says, oh my goodness, this is, this is animal cruelty. How are you overloading the donkey so much? Both of you are on the donkey. How cruel, how awful, right? And so they go along and then they do this next. They both pick up the donkey on their shoulders and then they walk along, right? And then they're the laughing stock, right? They're like, <laughs> someone's like, oh, look at these fools carrying the donkey on their backs, right? That's funny. That's hilarious. What fools these people are. And the point of the story is you can never please everybody, right? Everyone has something to say. Everyone has something hateful to say towards you, no matter what you try to do to please them. So it's impossible don't even try. That's not what you want to focus on in life. Don't focus on pleasing people. Focus on being that exciting character. There is an expression that we have in English, and it goes like this. Your reputation precedes you, right? And what that means is your reputation comes before you do. You're so popular and so talked about that people know who you are before they've actually met you in person. That's how famous you are. And that's something quite spectacular. That's something quite amazing to have, right? So imagine that, right? Someone comes along to you and says, ah, oh, are you the Dylan? Oh, I've heard so much about you. Oh, I finally met you, right? Like, isn't that something that's like nice to hear about? Like I've had that before in my life and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. These people have been talking about me, right? It's just, it's just that's a nice feeling, right? You might not want to admit that. It might seem arrogant or egotistical to be like, oh, that's nice. People are talking about me. But that's natural, right? That's how I actually think. And I'll be honest about that. I've said time and time again, I've, I'm not, I'm completely fine looking like an arsehole in these videos, as long as I'm honest about it. Like imagine that sense, right? People are talking about you so much that they know who you are before they even met you. That has an attractiveness to it. There's people wondering who you are. Question, oh, why are so many people talking about this guy? It's like, this guy must be so interesting, right? I can't wait to meet him. 
there's a there's a, a spell that you put people under. You can't control what they say, but it's still awesome. They might hate you, but it's still awesome. And so there might be thousands of people talking about you. Like, let's say there's a thousand people talking about you. They will be haters in that group, right? Even if 900 of those, of those people hate me and 100 of those people like me, I'm like, oh, that's cool, 100 people like me. And those 900 people still talking about me? That's amazing. They hate me, but that shows that they care. They're giving me free advertising. So thank you very much for showing me this hate. I appreciate the free advertising. Thank you very much. And that's like, that's genuinely funny to me. Like I, I actually laugh when I read comments, like hate comments and death threats, all that shit. I actually laugh. I'm not pretending here. Like I genuinely, it doesn't affect me, right? Genuinely, I find it funny. Like I'm not going to pretend I'm impervious to it. Like it still does hurt sometimes, but I very quickly remind myself this is actually a good thing. I'm actually lucky to receive this hate. I'm actually popular enough to, for people to talk about. Like, I'm lucky this is a good sign because I'm doing something that's worthwhile and I'm getting free advertising, right? So why am I upset in the first place? And so it quickly switches in my mind. I'm like, oh, I'm a bit hurt. Oh, wait, remember, this is a good sign. This is a good thing. People are talking about me. That's amazing. And the smile, just, it quickly comes to my face. And so it's almost a test as well, right? Like, how are you going to react to the, the fact that people are talking about you and saying mean things about you? Are you going to be a little bit? You're going to cry about it. You're going to be like butthurt and just like, oh, no, people are being mean. Or are you going to be stoic, strong? Like you don't really care. You kind of even laugh about it. So there's a choice about who you want to be. Right? So I'll ask you that question. Who do you want to be? Right? Do you want to be that boring character or the exciting character? Right? Do you want to be the asshole or the nobody? Do you want to be the crybaby or the strong man that laughs in the face of these mean comments? So if there's a bottom line here, don't be one of these NPC sheep characters that's so boring that like no one's going to talk about you, right? Don't be boring and nobody a crybaby. Think a bit deeper and realize that doing something worthwhile will result in hate. Aspire to be great enough to be hated, right? And that is a quote that I love, so I'll repeat it again. Great enough to be hated. Remember that the next time you receive any bit of hate or any bit of like, you know, a bit of like insult or whatever, I'm great enough to be hated. I'm doing this valuable, worthwhile thing. And so I'm great enough to be hated. That is a wonderful phrase. And with that being said, I hope this has helped you. Thank you for watching this video. Knowledge is power and the power is yours. Subscribe!